Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss how to mark the dimensions for a given circle. Okay, here different sizes circles will be there. Okay, this is a smaller circle, these two are medium circle and this is a bigger one. So in all circles, we have to mark the dimension. So here initially we have to do the horizontal axis, vertical axis in all the circles. Okay. And here what is the axis? Axis means it is an imaginary line. It is passing through the center of the circle. Okay. Now here imaginary line means two big lines with one dot. Okay. Here also two big lines with one dot. Okay. First initially we have to do the axis line. After that we need to mark the dimensions. So always remember take any inclined line at any angle. Okay. So this inclined line should pass through the center of the circle. Okay, this is a small diameter circle. We can't keep arrows inside. Okay, so that's why we have to keep the arrows outside and extend this up to some length. And here, do the horizontal line, do diameter symbol, and then 10. It is a given value. 10 mm is the diameter of the this circle. Okay, and uh, this is the method for keeping the arrows for the smaller circle. Let us take little bigger one here. Here also we did one inclined line which is passing through the center and we are keeping the arrows within the circle and we are writing diameter is 20. Because of small size we are keeping the arrows outside the circle on the inclined line. Here this is a little bigger one that's why we are keeping the arrows inside. Okay. And now one more method for marking the dimension is like this. Here extend the lines of this diameter okay ends these are called projector lines okay at both ends of the diameter we have to do the projector lines after some gap of the diagram we have to do the horizontal line and keep arrows keep diameter symbol 15 15 mm is the diameter of this given circle okay this is another method of doing the dimensions and take the bigger one here also we have to do the inclined line which is passing through the center of the given circle Keep the diameter symbol right 40. Okay. We should not mark dimension on the axis line. Always remember. Okay. We should not keep the arrows vertical and we, can, we can't mark the dimension on the axis. Either vertical axis or horizontal axis. Always take the inclined line. So take some angle line. Okay. And mark the dimensions. These arrows should be sharp. Okay. Lengthy arrows. Just I will show you how the arrow will be. So we have to fill the arrow. This length should be more compared to this height. Okay, it is three times more than this height. Okay, so like that we have to take the sharp arrows, lengthy arrows for marking the dimension. So these are the methods for marking dimension for different sizes of circle.